Uh, let's run straight to Italy and talk about the game between, I call it a cracker, as this feels like it's not a cracker, <laughs> but hey, um, anything can happen. For me, I used to be a, a, an AC Milan fan, but lately I don't know what has <laughs> happened to uh, the club side. Juventus versus AC Milan, expert Perry put us through. Yeah, uh, Juventus versus AC Milan is a, is a debut of Italy, and it's one of the oldest debut in the history of football. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, in the past decade, Juventus have always edged past AC Milan, if you check it very well. I think in the last 10 years, AC Milan only won once against uh, Juventus. Yeah. Uh, uh, so this season, Juventus have been outstanding, not so outstanding in terms of how they score goals. Because of the mm. caliber of players they parade, we expect them to score much more goals. But they are not doing that. They only scored 19 goals, considering just nine so far this season. They are, they are the ones that have scored the least goal among the top five teams mm. in that league. Uh, the caliber of with the caliber of player the Paris, talking about the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, Higuain, um, uh, Paulo Dybala, and then one uh, interesting uh, midfielder, uh, what is the Miriam uh, Pjanic? Pjanic, okay. He, uh, yeah, he's been actually motivating the team both on the pitch and off the pitch, and uh, we expect that Juventus will get the result in this match. Mm. But then we also, we also we also predicted that the Juventus will score between one to two goals. That goals. is what has been happening in most of the games so far for Juventus this season. They will either win the match by one goal or by two goals to zero or by two one. Two one yeah. So we expect that to happen again in this time because it's going to be a match to watch out for and it's going to be a tough one. So for AC Milan, they are 17, mm. they, they are, uh, I think, 12, mm. 12 on, the on, the, on the league table. They have not been fantastic this season, no doubt about that. They only have one player that I think that can put up a challenge to uh, to the defense of uh, Juventus, that's their striker. Uh, what's his name? It's fine. Let, so yes, so that's that's he only scored three goals this season. I don't think he can do much uh, against uh, the defense Juventus. of Juventus. We have not mm. considered that much. Mm. So we expect Juventus to win this match as usual as has been in the last ten years, mm. and to score between one to two goals. Mm. Okay. Match. And for Juventus, yes, well, they might have had a fantastic start of the season, but towards I think about two three weeks back now, they've not really. Um, produce that fine form, but they've been getting the results probably by one goal to nil or two goals to nil or two goals to one, like he rightly said. But one of the reasons why I said this is a cracker, like he put it, uh, one of the oldest derbies in Italy, the Derby da Italia, and um, anything can happen in this kind of game. We've seen it play in England when we see the likes of um, um, Arsenal against the Tottenham Hotspur, Arsenal Liverpool, Man Liverpool. It could go anyway, but it's looking like you're, you're very sure that Juventus will get this one over AC Milan. Of course, recent history suggests that if you look at uh, UV against AC Milan in their last 13 games in all competition, uh, talking about the Super Coppa, the, uh, the Coppa Italia, Italia, as well as the Serie A, over the last 13 games, UV has actually been victorious in 11 times. Uh, leaving AC Milan to win just two of those uh, 13 times. Mm. But it interests you to know also that draws are not a common feature in games between AC Milan and Juventus. So Juventus, of course, they, they have the old mark of champions, just like we know them. They've not been scoring goals at plenty. They've not been scoring goals for fun, despite having a Cristiano Ronaldo. But they have been an efficient side under Mauricio Sarri. They are getting the result, and that is what matters most. Mm. And for Juve, just like he rightly said, uh, we expect them to score between one and two goals in this game. It's just only one uh, game for Juventus have produced over uh, 2.5 goals this season and that was their, that a 4-3 uh, win against uh, SS Napoli uh, earlier this season. So okay. uh, for Juve, we don't expect them to produce the odds, uh, especially when uh, uh, AC Milan are not expected to, to come out uh, against Juventus and play football. And for Stefano Pioli, this is actually his third game as AC Milan manager. Mm. He won his first goal against Pal, he lost the second one 1-2 uh, to two at home against Lazio and coming up against uh, uh, an ambitious Juve side who wants to win everything this season, they will have their work cut out. But we expect mm. Juve to score between one and two goals and go on and win that game. To win that game. Well, for the selections, you have it there from Aziz and uh, expert Perry. For Juventus against uh, AC Milan, looking at uh, the selections, uh, for a straight victory for Juventus, it goes at 1.45 odds. And total multi-goal for home team, that's for Juventus to score. Um, the number of goals that Juve will score in that one, it's uh, about one to two goals, and it goes at 1.70 odds.